Yo, what's up everyone? This is Freddy Fanviews here today. I'm doing my review of Batman Arkham City Series 3 Batman figure. Uh, a quick story about this uh, figure and how I got it. I went to my local shop. I ordered the Series 4 Batman, the super articulated one, and the Series 4 Nightwing. I ordered those. Um, and they still haven't come in, so I went, so I decided, you know, we're going to cancel the order on that my Batman, my superposable Batman from Series 4, and I'm going to go to the other comic book shop that's a bit farther away and a bit more expensive, and when I mean a bit more expensive, I mean pretty expensive. Um, so we went there, they had the Series 4 one on hold for me, because we already called, or I already called, um, and it was $35. $35 for a Batman action figure, when they have, you know, every other Arkham City figure prices 25 or 20 or 19 whatever. Um, so, I saw this guy, compared the two of them, thought to myself, okay, this guy has, you know, he's a bit bigger, you know, a bit better, a bit better of a bulk to him. Uh, he has less articulation, my less articulation is close to none. Uh, he, he doesn't, you know, the other one had pretty good sculpt. This one has a good sculpt, too. But here's the selling point of this guy. He was $21, not 35 So, what would you do, is my question. Would you go for the 30 I, I went with this one. I thought, I sacrificed articulation. Uh, I just want a Batman Oakham City figure. You know, I want some Oakham City figures. I want to get, you know, a, a collection going for Oakham City. So... Uh, I thought that was just a little ridiculous. I also bought a comic book there, a pretty old one. I'll just show it real quick. Uh, this one. Amazing Spider-Man Annual 62. I just wanted to show that. That, that, that's just, I don't know. I just want to show that. But that's just how I feel. I mean, they, they said it was more rare. I don't think it is. I think it's just because it's, you know, more in higher demand. But this guy... Is actually pretty cool to know. If we move him out of the way, we can take a look at his packaging. We've all seen this packaging before. You know, the cowl, Oakham City, background, the back. And if you open this up, there you can take this out and you open it up and it shows all like the other figures in this series. So, here we go. On with the review now. This figure is pretty cool. I actually think he's pretty cool, actually, you know. For a not for a figure who has no posability at all, I I think he's pretty dope. So let's just compare him to this Batman. Uh, let's just move this back a bit. Yeah, that's better. So if we can pair him to uh, another Batman, I chose this Batman because a lot of you are familiar with it. It's the Dark Knight slash Dark Knight Rises uh, movie Batman. This one is from Dark Knight Rises, but the exact same body mold. Now, this is not a DCUC uh, size figure. A DCUC would be a bit taller, but, you know, I thought this one, because everybody knows this Batman and has seen it or has it, but it does not fit in with the uh, DC Universe classics. And honestly, why, why the hell would you put an Oakham City figure with a DC Universe classics? Like, don't mix stuff up, man. Don't, don't mix Oakham City figures with your DC Universe classics, but... So that's just my personal preference. I just wanted to give you an idea how big this guy is. Um, his one and only accessory is actually a pretty cool accessory. And I really like this accessory. It's this. For those of you who've played the game, you might know what this is. It's the explosive gel. Super fun to use in the game. Super fun to use. Uh, and it fits in his hand pretty well, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, I like this. Now, his articulation, like I said, is close to none. But it's still pretty neat, so you got the head, can turn, move up and down, side to side. He does have a ball joint and shoulder, and can go forward and back. A single bend at the elbow, Ooh, right there. Can turn, here's, here's a little problem I have, it turns here. So when you turn it, you got these uh, spikes going in. It would have been better if it was just to turn at the wrist, because that's how it, you know. Batman doesn't have his spikes, you know, pointing into his chest. I mean, that's that's dangerous, so that doesn't make sense. That just doesn't make sense. Um, it would have been nice to have, like, a, a disc joint or a swivel at the wrist. No waist joint. 
like I said, I sacrificed- I could have had all this articulation, but you know what? It wasn't worth $35. He can kick forward. He actually can kick forward pretty good. He can bend at the knee. I get nervous bending the knees for DC uh, Direct. They feel like they're going to break sometimes, but this one doesn't feel like it's going to break. However, though, his legs are sort of bent in. Not really. I mean, no, not really. That's just me being stupid. And he can turn at the, uh, the boot. Oh, my cat's here. Okay, hold on. Don't, don't walk over here. Don't walk over here. I'm doing a video. Um, his head. Let's get that. That is a cool head. I like how you can see the blue. The, the flesh tone is a little, um, go away, go away. The flesh tone is a little, uh, pale, but it, 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 it looks good. I like the cowl. I like the cape. The cape turned out cool. There is some white stuff. Um, on it, and it sort of, uh, sort of droops, you know, it touches the ground. Uh, the coloring on the, the uh, chest is really nice, you got the Batman logo, some nice paneling in there. Same with the arms, I love the, how the gauntlets turned out. We can see how you can see it there, and then on the back you can see where it would strap on to his hand. We get it right there, really cool. Just a quick look underneath the cape. Uh, the belt, the belt came out pretty cool. Uh, the boots came out cool too, same sort of thing where you can see the thing that straps on it. Overall, this is a really cool figure. Uh, let me get the explosive gel. Oh, oh, jeez, go, go away! <laughs> okay, she's gone. Uh, okay. Um, if I can get this in. I'm gonna, this is a solid figure, man. This is really cool. I really like this. This is my favorite Batman figure. Personally, you know, I, I think I might be a little biased there because I love the game. And I love the costume used in the game. Like, Bat Batman Arkham City, man, and Arkham Asylum are two of the best games. But Arkham City is better. It's my favorite one. I want to do a review of that, but, you know, I gotta get 100% complete. For those of you who are wondering what mission I'm on, I'm, I'm completed the game twice. I'm just doing the Free Realm and Riddle Riddles. And little Riddler trophies, it, it it's a pain in my ass, but you know it's still it's still a fun game. And this is a cool figure. He is kind of hard to stand, you know, getting this cape because this cape actually is rather long and and it kind of curls. But I'm gonna I'm kind of rambling here. This is a cool figure. Definitely uh, check him out. And um, that Nightwing figure is on its way. We will be reviewing that, by the way, that Nightwing DLC is really cool, I'll talk about that in the review. So anyways guys, uh, hope you enjoyed, peace, and have a great day.